Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome to your new moon, solar eclipse in Aries, a message from spirit. We're just going to go ahead and get started here, Scorpio. I already shuffled the decks, but I will shuffle again. Um, I did pull from the, uh, from the right away, from the tarot deck, all of the major arcanas out to see what is the major life change that's taking place for you right now during this eclipse the eclipse is eclipsing out everything that's not for you anymore to put you on the right path uh, so the eclipse energy is eclipsing sudden unexpected endings and sudden unexpected new beginnings to align you with your new beginning that's putting you on the right path on your destined path okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with your message scorpio Let's split the deck, Scorpio. We have conclusions are within reach. Let's go ahead and keep that and be bold and make the first move. Interesting. I shuffled this. Uh, I did all these other readings before yours. And this actually came out in uh, your reading that I just did for you for, I think it was the, the April, the April reading. Be bold to make the first move is back here. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep that. And you're in the process of closing out concluding a cycle here in your life interesting because this is the full moon eclipse and we just finished having that full moon eclipse not too long ago uh we're in between eclipses right so the full moon eclipse is it helps us to release release purge 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 so the new moon solar eclipse can bring in the new okay so conclusions are within reach hallelujah <laughs> right uh, it feels like a tough cycle an ending of a tough cycle and you being asked to the universe says you go first and i will catch you it'll be a soft landing here okay uh can i have one more for scorpio for this new moon solar eclipse oh wow Ooh, scorpio I love this. My best friend's a Scorpio, so is my son. We have a new romantic cycle begins here for you. Have a new cycle coming in and a new start is coming. That's the new moon. We just finished talking about that, right? How the new moon eclipse brings in a new cycle. What's under that? Your commitment is being tested right now. Your commitment to your 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 uh to your journey, your commitment to your uh to yourself right commitment i'm gonna read that to you guys because that's what's being tested angel wisdom reminds you that when you aim for a vision without doubt or deviation it must succeed your guidance is to persevere towards your vision let every thought word and action be directed towards your desired outcome nothing is more powerful than focused energy and that's something you can do right really well being a scorpio being a fixed sign focused on the on on what you want right for yourself well you got to work on releasing any kind of negativity or fearful based thoughts okay because that that creates doubt any kind of doubt um slows down the progress kills the magic creates energetic blocks and delays to your manifestation it's like you gotta be certain and believe in what you're trying to create without a shadow of a doubt extreme unwavering confidence and certainty see it put yourself in that place feel it believe it so you can manifest it and create it and then take the action right you go first nothing is more powerful than focused energy and the angels will see the pure light of your commitment whether it is to a relationship a piece of work a journey or anything else in your life you're being tested right now this new start of yours won't manifest for you until you are are you know you become it right completely within yourself okay remember to ask them for help and know that when you dedicate your intention to the highest good they will support you to the highest good of all and for yourself authentic from from an authentic place right from a place of purity um your affirmation i am committed to my vision all right so let's see what is the major change that's taking place right now for you we have split the deck to the hermit card so you've been doing a lot of introspecting soul searching self-reflecting shadow work doing you know seeking guidance from within from external to you okay doing a lot of inner work on yourself preparing for this new beginning becoming the energy that you are trying to attract 
and call in and create in your life. So you have a new romance, a new cycle that's right around the corner here for you, okay? But I feel it feels like you got to make a move, Scorpio, towards it, okay? For it to bring, claim it, to bring it into fruition. And this cycle, this new moon solar eclipse, that's what this solar eclipse is, uh, I guess, inviting you to, pulling you towards, okay? Intuitively, uh, to, to take action here on this dream of yours, on this manifestation. What is a um, Scorpio... major change for Scorpio right now that Scorpio is undergoing what is the major change that Scorpio is undergoing right now okay there you are judgment showing up for your own reading wow the devil here so you are releasing you're you're breaking yourself free here from this devil energy okay and this devil energy could could represent people around you that can be manipulative and controlling and toxic that's bringing you down and dragging you down, making a major decision, a major life decision right now with judgment, forgiving yourself and forgiving the past, right? Doing a self-evaluation, okay? Releasing judgment of self and others. Uh, there's an energy here of wanting to return, wanting a second chance, feeling a homesickness. You get a second chance, Scorpio. Judgment represents resurrection and rebirth, okay? Redemption, right? Uh, the universe is saying clear once you clear this energy and you face the devil the demons within and without and you and you close out these patterns and you heal right with the hermit energy i feel like that's what you're doing in hermit energy you're released from the karma forgiveness releases you from this karma okay so making a judgment call making a, a decision a heart-based decision that is for the best and highest good of all right uh making healthier choices for yourself as well the daily choices i make now align me with my life's purpose so the choice that you're making right now is aligning you with your new start your commitment is being tested to you with yourself so this is talking about if you're going through something right now and let's say you had some addiction some codependencies this helps you to numb escape avoid distract right that's being tested okay for you to not fall back to old patterns right this could this could be a capricorn as well interesting because my son is a scorpio as i mentioned and his father is a capricorn and uh and that and he's in the process of leaving staying with him to come stay with me <laughs> uh, because his father is um, not in the best shape right now and dragging him down and it's not healthy for him to stay there right now so the devil represents uh, addictions and depression and mental health issues, you know, ego and secrecy, obsession, cheating, dependency, bondage, superficiality, lust, temptation, materialism, sexuality, powerlessness, hopelessness, abuse, violence, and assault. So uh, I am not a puppet is what this, so, you know, the devil wants us hopeless, helpless, and powerless. The devil wants to take our faith from us. But it looks to me like you're rising here in a rebirth energy. This is very powerful energy. Yeah. Okay. So you could be... Um, there's the emperor, the divine masculine here, following their intuition. Wow, we have the star card, Aquarius energy, high priestess here. A lot of spirituality, a lot of ascension, awakening, a spiritual awakening. So you went through some kind of... Um, you may have been um, right here, have the emperor, the higher fund, which represents marriage, belief system, traditional belief systems here and marriage. You might have been in a, in a toxic type of relationship, marriage dynamic or job institution, you know, f f family traditions, belief systems that wasn't in alignment with your higher self, your best and highest good here. OK, and. Um, and it's like your intuition here has been guiding you through this healing work that you've been doing, has been guiding you away from this situation here, possibly for a very long time, okay? It hasn't been sitting well with your spirit. This is like somebody receiving some kind of a wake-up call with judgment, a breaking point here, okay? Like enough is enough kind of energy, right? And um, and your commitment to this, the, this right here is the help from the angels. I'm gonna cover them, them for YouTube's guidelines. This is getting help from the angels, Okay, this is a um, archangels blowing the horn here. And you needing to answer the call, right? And make a uh, make the best judgment call for yourself right now, okay? And making the first move here. So this eclipse is eclipsing out 
um, the devil energy within you, which is negative thinking and fears and dependencies and limitations and outdated beliefs, and also the devil energy external to you. That's people in your environment, karmic family, karmic friends, and of course, uh, whatever karmic relationship that you felt bound to and stuck in, okay? I'm feeling like no longer wanting to allow anyone to turn you into a puppet, no longer, you know, allowing anyone to control you or anything to control you internally or externally this is a freedom a, a resurrection a rebirth energy that's taking place for you right now and it's happening because of forgiveness and because of love because of forgiveness and because of love this is your energy judgment represents scorpio so you're going through a huge awakening right now okay and and freeing yourself from anything that has kept you powerless and uh starting a brand new cycle here in love wow <laughs> good for you scorpio you're getting a this, there's a blessing in disguise that you don't see from archangel michael here be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control what will come is far better than you dare to dream what's coming in here for you in this new cycle is far better than you dare to dream yeah, you're in the process of making a major decision right now in your life, okay? That's bringing in a lot of balance. Look, this is matte energy. Your heart is healing and it's becoming as light as a feather. That's how you're getting this redemption, this resurrection, the second chance. You've been given a second chance, okay? Um, at something that's very close to your heart here, okay? At a new life. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? Very good, Scorpio. My Archangel Michael for this new moon eclipse in Scorpio. You being asked to take care of yourself right now. Take very good care of yourself, okay? Give yourself, especially if you're undergoing this rebirth. This Somebody had a wake-up call here. Especially if you're going through um, your rebirth. If you're going through your awakening. Oh my God, my best, my, my Scorpio best friend is texting me right now. My gosh, the telepathy we have is incredible. It's like we're connected. Um, <laughs> so you do so much for others. It's time if you're going through a rebirth, uh, and a dark night of the soul energy, and you are clearing a lot. One of the main things that's important that I learned by going through this myself is acceptance, surrender, and self care. So taking, giving yourself what you need, filling your own cup, that's self-love. You do so much for others, Scorpio. <laughs> it's time for you to experience the love that you deserve and let others help you. That's exactly what I told my son also when he was making this decision to leave his comfort zone. I said, self-love, son, <laughs> self-love. If a situation is not healthy for you anymore, right? then it's time to make a decision that's best for your best interest for your best and highest self that's going to make that's going to bring in peace balance harmony happiness abundance prosperity when we clear this up from our life uh we're clearing energy stuck energy right old energy uh, lots of doors opens up, lots of opportunities opens up, okay? Um, abundance, prosperity, bliss, happiness, joy, vitality, success, a door starts to open, okay? Because a lot of times these types of energies, they, they keep us, they lower our vibration, our frequency, they hold us back and hold us down and keeps us stuck, okay? It's not yours to carry, right? It's not yours to carry. Recognize the signs from above. Angels are sending you signs and synchronicity synchronicities all over the place through angel numbers billboards license plates songs words in a movie um through animals out in the world butterflies feathers okay birds coins okay recognize the signs the angels are, are are trying to guide you towards this new start angels are sending you messages now but you're too distracted to notice stay alert and open to divine guidance so ground your energy that's really important especially if you're going through if you're ascending you're going through an ascension grounding your energy is going to be key here grounding your energy is going to be so important for you right now especially since you're a highly sensitive empath intuitive psychic uh you if you're not grounded 
spending time in nature, putting your foot in the dirt, doing grounding meditations or root chakra meditations. Root uh, Pure Rasa has a good one that I love, that I listen to. I myself am, I am an empath, highly sensitive empath. It's important for me to ground every day as well. I talk my, I walk my talk, you know, so it's like, I understand that if I'm not grounded, being a highly sensitive empath, I can absorb negative energy and receive psychic attacks, okay? So that's how you're gonna protect yourself. And also you wanna work with Archangel Michael right now, call in Archangel Raphael. That's how you take care of yourself, that's self-love, Scorpio. All right, so let's see here. Self-love is also turning your back on everything, anything, and anyone that isn't respecting your boundaries, that, that is, uh, I also keep your plans to yourself don't share it with family or friends either because um there's a lot of a lot of uh of, of people in your you'll know who they are you'll know who you can share your stuff with and who you can't okay um you'll know because because you're going through an awakening it's important that you connect with people that's more like-minded that's more on your energetic frequency that's also on the ascension and awakening journey okay if you're trying to share your stuff with anyone that's not on the same vibrational frequency as you, that's not awakening with you, it's not ascending with you, that's kind of like still stuck here in this kind of energy, right? Um, you're not going to get, you know, the type of uh, advice, support, or counsel that you are actually needing at this time, okay? So you know there are a lot of right here with the devil energy people that doesn't want you to ascend grow and evolve and uh, uh you know because that means that you'll be leaving them behind right that means that you are outgrowing them so be you'll know you're a psychic giant you'll know exactly who you can go to for support and who or who is going to be the ones that's going to poke holes in your boat right and uh, be your biggest hater okay uh, there are a lot of people that wants to keep you stuck and trapped with them where they are in their life so misery loves company all right scorpio all right spirit guides what is the message for scorpio i'm loving this for you scorpio very nice beautiful energy dear you you're in such good shape right now that we're doing the <laughs> i love okay let me start over you're in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle by taking action. You may wonder where, where this is all going. But if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now, right here, present moment energy. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? So connecting with spirit, ask, to, ask spirit for help. The divine, your spirit guides, angels, high, higher power, the most high, whoever you pray to, ancestors, universe, whoever you connect with on the other side, uh, Jesus, uh, they can't help without you asking because you have free will. Okay, so prayer can really move mountains. Uh, get rid of that negative energy now. Resentments be gone. Yes, that's that's what's keeping you stuck. So heart chakra healing, that's what's keeping you stuck and small here. Forgiveness and love enter. Yes, look at all these, the heart for self-love energy here. Uh, forgiveness and love enter. That's how you're opening up to this new cycle in love by opening your heart and healing your heart. I post a lot of meditations on the community board to help with the heart healing, heart opening, forgiveness. Connect with Archangel Raphael, Archangel Shamuel, okay, for heart healing and heart forgiveness. And um, connect with, uh, you can do heart chakra meditations, sacral chakra meditations using Brian Scott, meditative mind as well. This is important work. Because this is what's going to bring in this love of that you're manifesting here. Um, forgiveness and love enter now, please. <laughs> you, can do, you can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now, in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have such a huge cheering section over here? This is your deceased loved ones, ancestor spirit guides uh, that's sending you a postcard. Uh, love and hug always, Scorpio. 
What a beautiful message. I'm loving this for you, okay? So much. You're at the, you're at the tail end of a, of a huge uh, conclusion here of a cycle and the beginning of a new beautiful one for you, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you and namaste. Much love, Scorpio. Till next time.